when I was preparing for this video, I was actually quite surprised at how ridiculously easy it is to use Quasar plugins. And I think that you're also going to be pretty blown away by some of the functionality we can get using Quasar plugins. I kind of think of most of the plugins as kind of shortcuts, fast ways of doing common tasks within Quasar. And the ones I'm going to show you in this video are showing a dialogue and then taking some action based on what the user does on that dialogue. So for example, when we click on this button here, we'll get a dialogue where the user can then put in the title of their to-do and then press OK. And then another one is showing a notification. So like a little notification that could show up at the bottom of the screen or in the top right of the screen, bottom right, wherever, that says to-do created. So let's go ahead and have a look at how we might do that. We'll open up our file browser and we're going to jump into this button here, which is the create to do button. Now what we can do is say at click equals handle button clicked. And then we can come in here and say methods, handle button clicked is one of our methods. And then we'll just alert clicked just to check if that works. You've probably done this pattern before. And there we go, it works. So now what we can do is use one of Quasar's dialogues so that we get a much nicer dialogue and we can actually do some actions based on it and have a little bit more control over the styling. So we're going to say this dot dollar sign Q. And whenever you see this dollar sign Q, I always like to think to myself, hey Quasar. So this is like me saying, hey Quasar, can you do this? Or hey Quasar, can you tell me the size of the screen? Stuff like that. So hey Quasar, I want you to show a dialogue and within that dialogue, I want to have a title equal to create to do. And I want to have a prompt as well. So show me a prompt in that dialogue and the model of that prompt. So the default value for the input of that prompt will just be an empty string to begin with. And then I want to set the type of that prompt and that's going to be equal to a text prompt. So we're basically saying, hey, Quasar, show me a dialogue with the title of create to do. And I want a prompt to be at the bottom of that dialogue. And it's going to ask the user for some text. So let's save that, refresh the page. And by default, this actually won't work. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. We click on there. Notice that it's saying, hey, Quasar dialogue is not a function. That's because by default, Quasar is not going to pull in all of its plugins. That would make our file huge and Quasar's bundle size is as small as possible and we just pull in the stuff that we actually want to use. So this error is a good thing. This means that Quasar isn't just blindly pulling in all of the plugins available. So now if we go into quasar.conf, which is in our root directory here, quasar.conf, but I like to get into the habit of searching for things. So rather than clicking on it there, I'm going to say control P, quasar.conf and jump into that file. And I'm already on the plugin section, but once again, it's good to get in the habit of going control F and looking for the word plugins in order to find that section. So I'm gonna say here, dialogue, save it. And that's all we have to do to install Quasar's dialogue plugin. And now when we click on the plus button, we get this really nice dialogue. And then we can give the to-do a name like my to-do and of course, by default, that's going to do nothing. So let's go ahead and start implementing a little bit more logic here to have a look at how we can then use this plugin. Well, first of all, we can say dot on OK. So when the user has pressed OK, I want you to do something. And by the way, I often accidentally put the whole word OK in like that. Make sure it's just the letter O and the letter K. And then we want to say something like this dot create to do then we can have a separate method for that, create to do. And how about we just console.log and we're going to pass through the data there into our console.log. So what's gonna happen is text will be entered into this prompt. When we press the okay button, we're going to call this function and the text that was entered into this prompt will be passed down here into the data property and then we're console.logging the result of that. So let's have a look at this. Create my to-do, press okay. 
and there we go. Now we can actually do something with the result. So how easy was that? That's all we have to do to start creating really nice looking dialogues. And I'm pretty sure we can add some other things in here like um, some styling as well, but you can check the docs to sort of dig a little bit deeper into what you have available with the dollar sign Q dialog plugin. Now let's have a look at something else we can do. We could also say after create to do this dot dollar sign Q. So, hey Quasar, I want you to show a notification. So dot notify the user and give them a message that says to do create it. And how about we add an icon to that? We can say the icon is equal to, and I'm using the MDI library, so MDI dash check. And by the way, I want you to give it a color as well. And I want you to use the positive color. And that positive color is basically, if we jump into Quasar variables, that's going to be this one here that we've set. You could also just set it to green or any other Quasar variable you have available. So anyway, moving on, let's save that and see what happens. My to do, okay, oop, and once again, this dot dollar sign Q dot notify is not a function. We have to jump into quasar.conf and we have to add it into our plugin section, notify. And there we go. And once I have more than two things in an array, I always like to just simplify it a little bit by putting those items on new lines. So there we go. Let's try this again. My to do. Okay. And now we get this really beautiful notification. And there's all sorts of other stuff we can do with that notification. We can hook into it, we can change the styling, we can change the color, we can make it appear on different parts of the page. But I'm gonna leave this video there and you can dig into the documentation if you wanna find out more about Quasar's plugin components. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I will see you in the next video.